Having established Darkstalkers as a series where monsters fight each other, the developers knew that if they wanted to add a human character, there would be pressure to make sure they did it right. A straight-up martial artist wasn't going to cut it in this series. They figured if this human character had enough going on with them in terms of presentation, they could safely add being just human as one of the traits, without running the risk of the character fading into the background when standing among the series' otherworldly monsters. The character would teach them to either go big or go home. The graphic department initially wanted this character to serve as a rival to John Talbain and be like a werewolf hunter. Instead, the character would take shape through Akira Yasuda and his specific design notes. Every Darkstalkers character up to this point had been inspired by something in fantasy, myth, and horror. When creating this character, however, Yasuda wanted to do something a little more sinister. Rather than basing her off an archetype or a myth, she would be inspired by the frightening qualities of the human race, and someone who is motivated by greed or ambition. Her name would be Baby Bonnyhood, or Boleta in Japan, as her physical appearance and name are clearly based around the fairy tale character Little Red Riding Hood, though it's also been said she resembles the protagonist from the series Akazukin Chacha. It's possible she was also inspired by the iteration of the fairy tale written by the novelist Roald Dahl, which ends with the character fatally shooting the wolf and making a coat out of him. During development, after her design was finalized, the team couldn't figure out how they should animate her in the game. Yasuda then recorded how he saw BB Hood's moves and poses on several sheets of paper, and pitched them to the graphic department. His concept for a character fueled by malice while hiding under a mask of naivete would lead to BB Hood having a dual personality. Character designer Bengus thought she was a fantastic idea for a character. However, according to Haro Murata, opinions among the team were pretty evenly split early on. Still, he believes the passion poured into her character by the pixel artist and designer really brought her to life. They discovered that a character can really shine if she does outrageous things out of a genuine kind of seriousness. In this way, BB Hood shared commonalities with Sakura from Street Fighter Alpha 2, who was also fairly unpopular during development. But just like with Sakura, once everyone saw BB Hood in action, it was understood they had something special here. Despite being a hunter of the Darkstalkers, BB Hood is a pure human and has no special abilities in the same manner as Donovan and Sienko. Instead, she is skilled with different types of weaponry she keeps on herself or hidden in her basket. These can range from Uzi machine guns, landmines, a combat knife for close range targets, or even a rocket launcher. She is also considered the antithesis of these characters. While Donovan and Sienko fight the Darkstalkers for noble causes, BB Hood does it solely for the profit. In a human world inhabited by Darkstalkers, ideals like love and courage are not valued as highly as the powerful lure of money and power. Darkstalkers inevitably earn the interest of humans, whether it be scientific, prejudice, or simple curiosity. From these came a desire to harvest their bodies for usable materials, previously unfounded in the human world. The demand for those with experience hunting Darkstalkers eventually got higher, and thus the occupation of the Dark Hunter was born. Baby Bonnie Hood is a secret agent working for the Hunter's Guild of the Northern European Alpine Branch. As a member of this organization, she obtains all sorts of weapons and ammunition through illegal means, extensive training in martial arts, weapon handling, and gunpowder crafting, and information on new potential targets from a meteorological satellite called the Catastrophe. When fighting creatures capable of single-handedly slaughtering an entire army of soldiers, a strong mind and spirit is needed in this line of work to keep from losing one's own sanity and not be poisoned by the evil aura they can emanate. There are said to be several hundred dark hunters like BB Hood that exist in this world. However, their skills vary greatly, as some of them can barely kill a creature from the demon world of Makai, let alone a Darkstalker. BB Hood is classified as a special S-Class hunter, whose expertise is unrivaled, and even her gaze can strike fear into the heart of a lower-ranking Darkstalker. One day, on her way to work, BB Hood is transported into an alternate dimension called the Majigan, created by the demon lord Jetta, who believes she possesses the same mind as the rest of the Darkstalkers, with a very dark heart and the power of an S-Class demon. Rather than being overwhelmed by this new world around her, BB Hood gazed upon all the other Darkstalkers in front of her and simply saw them as one giant bounty just waiting to be collected. Despite her cute and innocent appearance, BB Hood is, for all intents and purposes, a murderous psychopath, not letting anything stand against her in the pursuit of killing Darkstalkers for money. She is someone who is more about making an impression and less about the usual logical character development. 
The rest of her supposed history and background is only portrayed to any great extent in her actions and reactions. Whether looking at the methods in which Bibi Hood attacks her opponents, or even traverses across the screen, there's almost always a chance for that action having more than one meaning or purpose. At first, she appears rather peaceful, like when she crouches down to watch a flower grow, or approaches her opponent lying on her stomach with her hands to her head using a move titled Tell Me Why. She appears timid when backing away, and screams in fear when running. But then her intentions start to become more suspect once she interacts with her opponent. When she punches and kicks them, was she simply trying to catch one of the butterflies in front of her, or was it just an involuntary reaction to turning her head, having sand in her eyes, or looking down to those same butterflies? And the more nefarious Bibi Hood and her attacks start to appear, the more damage they will likely inflict upon her opponent. She can trip and fall to the ground, but not before she holds out two large knives in attack position. When she yawns, she twirls her basket around, making it somehow grow bigger before she swings it at the opponent. She can unload a bottle that shoots a streak of fire while letting out a scream, but wearing a devious smile on her face. Bibi Hood expresses a wide range of emotions at a rapid pace, and it works at selling this character as a homicidal schizophrenic thanks to her versatile animation and the voice work of actor Miyuki Matsushita. In what is arguably her most memorable attack, simply titled Beautiful Memory, Bibi Hood starts to reminisce about her grandmother Margaret, which causes her to lunge at her opponents while swinging knives, smash their face with a rock as she cries a pool of tears deep enough for her to drown them in, and ends with a look of accomplishment on her face. With so many things going on with Bibi Hood, it's intentionally difficult to interpret whether she is being genuine or deceptive. She's normally seen with her dog Harry, who cowers in fear of her, just as anyone else would being around her. At any given moment, she can pull the curtain back, summoning two burly mercenaries named John and Arthur for assistance. Once she has finally defeated her opponent, a man who goes by the name Mr. K will inexplicably appear to give her the next assignment. Bibi Hood's lasting impression has granted her numerous appearances in other video games, both related to fighting games and otherwise. In the eyes of her designers and many players, Bibi Hood has become a character whose outlandishly extravagant moves are what make the Darkstalker series so special. She was designed to be someone considered very dangerous and unpredictable, but when shrouded by her innocent facade, it results in something always hilarious to see in motion. Even though her design will always remind people of her more fabled predecessor, her combined personality has elevated her to stand among the best creations to ever come out of Capcom. In the world of Darkstalkers, Akira Yasuda believed that no monster can compare to how terrifying humans can be. As a character designed to represent the dark side of humanity, perhaps it's not the Darkstalkers others should be most afraid of, but rather, the capabilities of humans like Bibi Hood who find pleasure in exterminating them. Don't, 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 don't,